Hello, this is episode one of Super Simple Scala with John Reed. Today we're going to talk about getting started. We're going to talk about installing Scala, uh, installing IntelliJ, using Scala with the terminal, using Scala with SPT, console, and using Scala with the IDE. First you'll want to do all your, th your three main installations. You're going to want to download Scala. You're going to want to download SBT, Scala build tool. And you're going to want to download, download IntelliJ. And with IntelliJ community, you can get the Scala plugin. Uh, once you have those three things, you are ready to start programming in Scala. Um, for our, when you start programming Scala, there's kind of two different ways to do development. One is sort of the classic Java way, where you sort of write things in your main method, and then you, you know, create functions and stuff from your main method. And the other way is to use the Scala console. I'm going to cover those two things really quickly. We're going to start with a little bit of both of them, actually. Uh, sorry, let me make this a little smaller. All right. So let's start in IntelliJ with a new uh, Scala project. When you start out, you're going to be using your basic Scala project, which is just, you know, your main method, your functions. Um, but then as soon as you start needing dependencies, you're going to start using Scala build tool. Um, for once you get past the point of needing lots of libraries, you're going to start pretty much using the Scala build tool for almost every new project, at least I do, or Activator, which generates a pre-made Scala build tool project. But let's start with an empty Scala build tool project. Let's call it episode one. It's going to be an SVT project. Let's get Java docs. Uh, let's put it in a new window. Here's our empty SPT project. Now immediately you'll notice how SPT is set that up. You've got target where all of your compiled stuff is. Sources and object files and whatnot. You've got build.spt which has your configurations set up as name value pairs. These are actually functions, these like equal whatever signs. They take in something of type T and they return a setting. So you can think of this as like a big sequence of settings. Um, you've got your tests here, your source code in here. Java and Scala can be mixed together in one project. They are uh, method call compatible. You can call our methods back and forth. Here's where you put your plugins. This is your logging level. You can select your SBT version of SBT that you want. If you change this to 7, it'll be SBT version 7. You don't need to worry about that. Okay, so let's say that we were to do our programming from the terminal. Let's, you would say uh, SBT. From SBT, you could do things like run your application, compile, and whatnot. I'm going to give you a quick little demo of compile. So from main, let's say we wanted to have a, let's see, your main method right in here, new Scala class. Let's call this main. And inside, let's do def m main template, println, hello world. Of course, you could run it, right click, run main. Hello world. Or you could do it from the terminal. Reload, just make sure everything is up to date. If you change the build.sbt file, you'll have to reload if you don't restart SBT. Um, and then we can just do, oops, we can just do compile, compiling one source, it's good success and run hello world okay so that's our main 
main. Oftentimes though we'll want to run main from a from your tests. Uh, your your source code and your tests are compiled separately. So let's create a main for our tests. Let's call this main. And then actually let's call this something that's different. Man, it doesn't really matter. Uh, def main println test. Obviously, you could just run it like that. But what we're going to do is instead of that, we're going to run it from the terminal. So we're going to do instead of doing regular run, instead of doing regular compile, we're going to do test compile. And that's going to tell everything in the tests folder to compile. So we compiled this file. And then we're going to do test run, which is going to tell the main inside of tests to run. So you just ran tests. So we just ran this from the terminal, the SBT terminal. Now, if you wanted to do it the Java way, you could just do all of your development. You could, you know, develop in here. But in Scala, most people don't do their initial development steps inside of here. Instead, they do it inside the console, where the console allows you to write code in your little console window down here, and then you can copy and paste it into your actual application. So let's do a little bit of an example. Let's say that we wanted to write some code that did, um, that just added one def add one i int takes in an int it returns an int and it returns uh, i plus one and let's format it the way you would normally format things in java so you have an add one function takes in an int adds one to it and then that int is in returned so in this console you could actually load this file so you would do colon load, or better yet, start with colon help just to get an idea. Sorry, colon help just to get an idea of all the functions that are available to you in the uh, in the console. Um, import implicits, blah 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 blah. You can also access the same console through the terminal. I believe you would just type in Scala and it brings you to the Scala console. This console here the in black is the same as the console in white. Let's close that. So one of the commands here is load. Interprets lines in a file. What it actually does is it lets you access the, the uh, methods in here. So let's load and we need to get the path, so we right click, copy path, and then paste path. Let's load main.scala, and then let's execute main.a, and it's, it has autocomplete, so add one, there we go, main, add one, and let's give it six, and we should get int seven. There we go, we got back int seven. So we were able to load this class into the console and write something in here. We could also define something in the console. So we could say something like, you know, def add to i int turns int equals i plus two. And then you could call add two on three and you would get int five. Right, so you can write code in the console, you can load it from the file system, and you can also copy and paste it. So for example, if this was add three plus three, you could use the paste command, enter pasting mode, copy and paste add three, control D, and then if you call add three with three, you would get int six. Cool. So now you know how to how to develop with the console, and you know how to develop with the IDE with this. You are ready 
to start programming in Scala.